Good morning, America. It's another fine day in America. Welcome to Oh, That Sounds Bad, the news report for the people who are too stupid to understand the news. Today, Justin Trudeau is in hot water after buying donuts that were too expensive. Trudeau posted on his Twitter page a picture of him with five boxes of donuts and two small donuts, explaining that you should buy from local stores. As it turns out, he overpaid for the donuts, and people are angry he didn't shop at your local Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons isn't local. I'm moving on. Meanwhile, in American politics, because Canada sucks, Michael Bloomberg's Twitter page has finally admitted to not being hacked after releasing multiple tweets following ostriches and debate moderator Wolf Blitzer saying things such as, Mike can telepathically communicate with dolphins. Mike has a deep respect for facts and science, except for the ridiculous round earth conspiracy. Less Tostitos branding than we expected. The candidates are barely mentioning Tostitos, which go great with dips, nachos, or your favorite snack recipe. Mike has eaten Clans Casino for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day for the past 30 years. And finishing with much like a real wolf, debate moderator Wolf Blitzer can devour an entire elk carcass in one sitting. Moving on, we're entering to our reoccurring segment, which I wish did not reoccur or existed in the first place. This is Animals in Grocery Markets. Do 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 transition. Pigs were let free in a supermarket recently and went straight for the liquor aisle. When asked about it, the lawyer said that they had no idea what they were doing and the pig said, oink oink. I'm not proud of that joke or anything I just said. <laughs> Meanwhile, a bus crash has recently been caused by nachos and why you should be careful around them. The suspect described as Dee Dee walked to the front of the bus and threw nachos in the conductor's face then pulling him from the wheel caused the bus crash. None were injured and Dee Dee jumped out the window and has still not been found. <laughs> Meanwhile, a man in Iowa has asked for a trial by combat against his ex-wife in a disagreement they're having. He's asking for 12 weeks to forge a sword and quote unquote says, on the field of battle, where he will rend their souls from their corporeal bodies. They did not have a very nice marriage. Soon, we'll learn about the Supremium and other things. Thank you, and we'll be- Good morning, America, and welcome back. Today, I have two guests, and their names are, say your names, because I sure as hell don't know them. Uh, my name is Jack. Liam. Jack and Liam, I'm going to need to know your social economic status and your mom's social security number. Or you can tell something about yourself. I don't know. Yes. Or not! <laughs> uh, yes, and one. Makes sense. Today we're doing a quiz show about Supreme products. I want to see how much you think various Supreme products actually cost when they were sold. Alright? Ready? It's pretty simple, alright? How much do you think the North Face jacket costs? This little sweater's got words on it. This is not what we're gonna. I think sixty bucks. Oh yeah, this is whoever closest is winning. Now Price is Right oh. body rolls. Um, uh, you say six hundred? Sixty. Sixty. Fifty-five. Okay. Hundred sixty-five? No, fifty-five. Fifty-five? He wins. He's closer because it's two hundred ninety-eight dollars. I I win. Yeah. Awesome. How much do you think a Supreme branded crowbar? Costs? Oh, Supreme! I thought it was like uh, Capri or something. No, Supreme is like really expensive stuff. I thought oh, you said nice. like. You ever seen that logo that says Supreme on it? <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Yeah, how much does a crowbar cost with the word Supreme on it? $160. Okay. What do you think, Liam? You're, you're wearing your thinking face, I can see. I lost my newscaster voice for half of this, and that is sad. You want an answer? <laughs> Just go. 600 Roll it out. No, $32. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme does what they want. Who, who's closer? What do you say? 160. I think you were closer. Yeah. Is you guessed lower? What do you guess? 60. Oh, okay. Then you win. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think you have a point and Liam has a point. All right. Ready? Next is Supreme Wire Cutters. Wait, what? How much do you think, when they originally rolled them out, how much do you think Supreme Wire Cutters cost? I didn't know they went into this, like, category. No, they're insane. They do what they want. If you put Supreme on anything, you can sell it. Fifty dollars. You say fifty, all right. A hundred. So fifty and a hundred. Forty-eight dollars. So you, you, that's that's two points for you, one point for you. We're finishing off with a brick. How much do you think a supreme brick costs? Right. It's a brick. It says supreme on it. Okay, I'm <laughs> gonna go with one hundred sixty-seven thousand seven hundred eighty-two. Two. <laughs> Liam wins because <laughs> a brick costs thirty dollars. <laughs> but. Guess what? The game's not over yet. I, I was want closer. you to figure out. Supreme is all based on hype. When things are sold out, they're sold out forever. Which creates something called the Supremium. Which is the amount that you have to pay. Which is way more than you originally had to pay for the products. So we're going to play the game again. But you have to guess how much it costs when they ran out of stock and people sold them off. I forgot all the costs. Too bad. you got to guess again. All right, ready? How much do you think people resold the $298 North Face jacket for? It's a tie game, two to two. I'll give you a hint, it's more expensive than they originally sold it. 370. 370. Um, Stacked more in there. $500? You're closer with 500, it's 1,672. What the? I mean, no, 100, 1,622, I'm sorry. So that's three to two. Pretty high game so far. Next is our chrome bar, crowbar again. How much do you think it costs when people resold the crowbar on the internet for this premium? Oh, fun fact, the North Face jacket went up about uh, 400% in price. So, the crowbar costs $32. How much do you think the new crowbar costs resold? 500. 500, all right. Mm, 720. 500 is closer, it's 360. Oh. Boom, so that's three to three. God, you guys are... Okay. Supreme is so dumb. Okay, wire cutters. We're reasoning those. Before they cost $48, how much do you think wire cutters cost now? It's literally a red bar with some dumb, some with dumb font you can it. find in Google but Docs. But it's Supreme. Do you think about that? What, what makes it Supreme? It says Supreme. You idiot. Uh, I'm gonna go with three hundred dollars. Three hundred. How much do you think, Liam? Four hundred. You're closer with it costs two hundred twenty-two dollars <laughs> for supreme wire cutters. So what was it? Three to three. So now it's four to three. Uh, Liam, if you get this one right, then it's a tie game, and if you get this one right, then it's 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 you win. All right. The supreme brick resold. <laughs> Originally was thirty dollars. How much do you think it costs now? To buy a Supreme Brick. <laughs> um, oh no. 500. 500. All right, Liam. What do you think? 400. <laughs> Liam wins the tie game. $150. <laughs> it makes no sense. So, overall, <laughs> I think today we learned a lot of things. <laughs> we learned about Mike Bloomberg. And we still don't know why he put his face in a meatball. I didn't mention that tweet, so that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but we also learned that there's always a tie waiting for you on the other side. And we learned that nothing really makes sense in this jambled life. And, and what, what, what we make of it is how we live it. So how will we react? The, the news is important. The news is important. The this news is, is not sad. The news. But what I told you is all the truth. I told you jokes, and I told you the nice things that you wanted to hear, yet still... You must feel unsatisfied with all the terrible things going on. <laughs> but the world is what we make it, and so I ask of you today to go out with the first episode with a smile on your face, just like uh, Liam is smiling right now that he's won the game. Imagine trying to build an Thank actual you. house with Thank you, and good night, America, bricks. because it's changed from morning to night.